which owns Instagram, say they removed more than a thousand of those racist posts. But here, uh, some politicians saying they really need to get tough on social media. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Discrimination has always been a part of society. And no matter how much we fight against it, there are some people, and even some organizations, who do not take the matter seriously. Here is Juventus Women's Soccer Under Fire over racist tweet. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and hit that bell icon so you receive all the notifications about our videos. Number four, public reaction. It's more depressing, isn't it? Like that we live in a, in a country where this kind of response is, you know, the new normal. Although the apology was written on several platforms and was circulated a lot, people still held the organization accountable for it and they started pointing out the mistakes in their apology. One person commented that the word undertones were not suitable in the letter and they should have come up with more strong reasons. Other people went on to write that the apology they wrote was, in reality, an offensive letter. There are a lot of phrases that were taken into account, such as the word, may have offended. It does not show that the organization is apologizing. The public wasn't the only one who had the issue with the discriminatory picture. The renowned brand Adidas also shared its feelings and tweeted that it condemned such behavior. Number 3. Apology we all know the leading football team, Juventus. While this incredible team is famous for its amazing gameplay and superb tactics, this time, the team got in hot water due to its recent social media post. The post was about one of the players of the Juventus team, where she was wearing a conical hat. Moreover, the expressions on her face. She was narrowing her eyes with her fingers. The photo also had some bad emojis attached to it. The picture faced a huge backlash and criticism from the audience. The picture was taken on one of the training sessions of the team and was posted on August 5th, and that is when the backlash started. People started commenting about it on social media. In response to all the criticism and hateful comments, the Juventus team took over the social media account and deleted the picture in 20 minutes. Moreover, it also issued an apology to the public. They claimed that their intention was never to display a discriminating undertone. They further clarified that their objective was never to create a controversy. Later, on their official website, the club posted a longer statement. We would like to offer our heartfelt apologies for the single tweet on the Juventus women's football Twitter account earlier that was taken as material. Juventus instantly recognized that the club had made an irreparable error and that this error had severely harmed the sentiments of all individuals who oppose prejudice. The club accepts total accountability for the incident's occurrence and significant consequences as a result of such a blunder. Juventus, as a club, has always committed to and strives to put into practice the ideals of combating discrimination and promoting the shared growth of various cultures. Juventus acknowledged its mistake and made the audience sure that such a thing would never happen again. Number 2. Incidences owns Instagram say they removed more than a thousand of those racist posts. But here, uh, some politicians saying they really need to get tough on social media. After a huge debate, this topic was widely discussed in all the media reports and became a hot topic for the academic world. One of such incidents was reported in the year 2018 in October. A player, Antonio Rudiger, reported that he had been the victim of discrimination and stated that the authorities should take proper action against it. Moreover, UEFA president Alexander Seferin also gave out a statement that if the referee sees any discrimination activity in the field during the match, she should immediately stop the match. The president of FIFA, Gianni Infantino, also supported the statement. Severe policies were made in 2019, and players were strictly held accountable for the discrimination activities. One of such incidents happened with Raheem Sterling. Sterling was called for his discriminating behavior, and he paid a huge price for his mistake. Fortunately, the price was not just in cash. He did not have to pay a heavy fine. That would be truly peanuts to him. Instead, nine points were deducted for the club. After that, it was established that fines will not be the only thing players will have to pay if they pass out any offensive comment. In April 2019, the social media campaign was also launched. This campaign was launched by the Professional Footballers Association, where he stood up against all the abuse. He actively called upon the organization and government bodies to take serious action against it. Number 1. Discrimination in football Abbiamo detto nella scorsa edizione della Champions Femminile, Barcelona in finale alla Gruppa Marena di Budapest per essere 4 a 1. Discrimination has been a debate for over years now. While many organizations still have discriminatory activities, there are a lot of others who strongly stood against it. Talking especially about the football organization, there are a lot of cases where some players were intentionally or unintentionally involved in discrimination. It can be in any form. 
People commenting about other people's nationality, color, race, and ethnicity come under discrimination. Sometimes, the individuals are even targeted by their fans. This study was lately and most commonly done in the parts of Russia and the European Union due to an increase in the number of incidents reported. The same incidents were reported in the game of 2013 FIFA. As the discriminatory incidents were increasing in FIFA in 2013, the matter was taken under the control of the international governing bodies. These bodies made amendments to the laws and policies to reduce the incidences. That's it for today guys, if you agree with our opinion, give this video a like and tell us what you think in the comments. Subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys in another video soon. Until then, take care and goodbye!